Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today I'm bringing you another Nextcloud tutorial. Today we're going to add an S3 backend to our Nextcloud instance. Let's get started. Okay, here we go. I have the uh, Nextcloud documentation up here and this is the part that uh, talks about configuring object storage as a primary storage. So basically what we're going to do here is instead of using your the file system that your next cloud is installed on, on using that file system to store all your data, we're going to store our data in, in an S3 compatible bucket. There are a couple options here. Uh, you can use Amazon Simple Storage or Amazon S3 you, or any compatible uh, S3 implementation. Min.io if you want to host your own. Ceph is also good for, for if you need to host your own. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to use uh, Wasabi Hot Cloud, and they have a, a very affordable backend cost when, it, especially when you compare it to S3. So we'll just look at this documentation. Basically, this config.php file is going to need to be updated, uh, and you're going to add an object store in here like this, and so Swift. Here's an option you can use Swift, and then here's the simple storage. Uh, this is the one we're going to use, and our object is going to look like this when we when we create it. And uh, so let me, let me get started. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hop over to Wasabi and take a look. Here is my Wasabi account, and let me just go ahead and make it bigger. Okay, I have a 30-day trial running here to show everybody what's going on. Um, you can sign up for that, um, and the first thing we need to do is create a bucket. So let's go ahead and click on that there, and let's give it that bucket a name. All right, and then we need a region. I'm going to pick U.S. West. You can also, there's a U, EU and a U.S. East. We're right, going to click Next. We're going to make sure that bucket versioning and bucket logging is set to off. And then review it and create our bucket. And there we have it. There's our bucket. Now we're going to go down to Users. And we're going to create a user. Um, we're going to call it Nextcloud User, NC User, and it needs to have programmatic API access. And then I hit Next. Create a group. We'll call it NC Group. Oops. Well, I named it wrong, but whatever. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to go ahead and pick Wasabi Full Access as the policy to share. When you go and uh, you set this up for yourself for a long term, you may want to look into creating your own policy that fits your needs uh, to, to restrict access as necessary. Go ahead and there we go. Create user. Now it's done. Now what we have here is an access key. Um, and then you're going to have a secret. So basically, you're going to need to copy both of these things. And we're going to need those for later. So now that you have your bucket created, we can go to the Nextcloud portion of it. I have my Nextcloud instance fired up here. This is a Debian 10 buster. Uh, basically, all I've done here is taken a fresh, clean install and put all the necessary Apache and PHP stuff and my MariaDB stuff in order to uh, run Nextcloud. Print working directory, I'm in the root directory, and the first thing we need to do is hop over to Nextcloud's website and get our information. All right, we're just going to copy that link. 
go back over here and we're going to w get and then download that if you're curious about all the things you need to require to install uh, nextcloud on here you can uh, check out one of my other videos uh, i'll put a link in here to my previous video where i installed nextcloud on ubuntu uh, 18.04 the debian installation is very similar all right so now we have our nextcloud we need to unzip that so we want to change that nextcloud directory and then we need to go into the config directory so the reason why we came to this directory is we're going to add a storage config file separate that'll get copied over so let's just uh do a nano and storage.config.php and that's going to be a blank file and what we're going to do and I've got this uh, copied in my clipboard here it is this is the, the base of what we're going to do if you take a look at the first part object store and the S3. This is the normal stuff we saw in the document. What we're going to change here is this portion and then we need to change our keys and our secret and then we need to pick the correct Wasabi uh, host name and the correct region and then it needs to be port 443 and SSL true and your style path is true. So let me just show you one thing here real quick. When you, If you remember we chose uh, Wasabi region. We happen to cho choose, uh, well, let's just go look. What did we choose? Bucket. We choose US West. We chose US West 1. So here's an article from Wasabi that, that talks about their different regions and the URLs associated with it. So since we chose US West 1, that's this one right here. It's set in Oregon apparently. And this last portion will be the URL that we need in there. Let me just scroll this up so we can see that and this all in one little page. So I have this config already set that it already says S3 US West 1. The other thing is you need to make sure this region is set correctly too. And yes. And there we have it. So that's the that's the first thing we do. Now, so now our S3 bucket is, is set up and Nextcloud will will have the appropriate information for that. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and get everything going. Right now, all this Nextcloud stuff is in our root directory, which we need to get moved over into the Apache portion of it. So let me show you that. We're gonna go through this pretty quick. I have another video on this. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make a play, local place for some storage on this server. So you still need to do that and as a good security rule, you don't want that as part of your Apache directory. So we're going to put that in a different directory, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So we make the directory, and then you go ahead and just make Apache the owner of that. And that's pretty much all there is to that. Now we need to go ahead and enable the website. So first thing is first is we need to create a Apache configuration for Nextcloud. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and drop this information in here. And just so you know, here it all is. And what you need to do is make a few few changes to this. Number one is your server admin email address. And then the address of your Nextcloud instance. And that is all I need to do here. Control X, save it. Let's go ahead and unlink that default one that's enabled. And go ahead and make a new link for our current one. Then we need to go ahead and add a couple of uh, Apache services. 
Okay, and the last one was a restart of Apache. Let's go ahead and set up the SSL portion of it now using Let's Encrypt. Now that we have that installed, let's go ahead and get our cert. Okay, now that we have a cert, let's go ahead and check out our website. Hello, and there we go. There is Nextcloud, and we are rocking the secure cert. So let's go ahead and do the basics, fill this out, and get it in, get, do the rest of the install, and uh, I'll show you your, we'll look at the Wasabi on the back end, and, and you'll see the files, and we'll do a couple of little tweaks. All right, there we have it. Now we have Nextcloud installed on this machine. Let's go ahead and just show you real quick under documents. And you'll see these documents are here. And what I wanna do is go ahead, back over to the Wasabi file manager. And here's our bucket. And if we explore that, there are all the files. Now it's gonna have file names that aren't going to be real that's okay it's all set in the database and everything's good we can go ahead and uh, open up a doc there you go and that's all there is to it setting up uh, wasabi s3 back back in for your next cloud instance instance thanks for joining me